Today, I'm excited to share with you that Microsoft has rolled out some additional missing features from Outlook Classic to the new Outlook for Windows. In this video, I will show you what they are. And based on the feedback in my channel, I will cover where you can locate some of the popular features in the new Outlook as well. Let's get started. Okay, so I have navigated to Adele's um, inbox. And the first feature that I wanna showcase is search folders. Search folders allow you to actually create a criteria and all the results come into one folder. And to be able to do that is cl right click on the folder and create a new folder. You're going to um, identify what your criteria is, you know, based on reading mail or mail from people. You just choose unread mail for an example and hit create. So all of your unread messages will be added to that folder. 687 unread messages. Now there are some limitations um, with this new search feature compared to the classic. Let me pull up the slide so you can see which, you know, criteria are missing because there are a few. So with the reading mail criteria, you know, important mail or mail from or to a specific, you know, person is not available to you under the mail from people and lists. Again, these two features are not available. You can, um, you know, as a workaround, create a rule to, you know, maybe pin it or move it to a particular folder. That is an option for you. And then also under organizing a mail, categorizing your mail by large mail, old mail, mail with attachments is not there, and mail with the specific words. Again, you can create, you know, rules and search for these as well. And then the last one is that is really common is being able to create one based on a particular date, you know, for an example, all the mail they came in for today. So here are some of the limitations, but you have something to start with. Another feature that has been added is share with me folder. And what this does is it will group all your alias accounts um, in this area. Now, if you don't know what an alias is, that it is a um, secondary email address that you can use. Let's say you want a um, alias email account, Black Friday at yourdomain.com. You can do that. And what they're doing is they just grouped them all together so you don't have this long navigation. You can have up to 300 alias um, if you want to. I do know that this grouping, this folder is not available in Outlook for the web. I'm not sure if Microsoft planning to provide that in um, the web version. We have styles back in the ribbon. I know that was missing originally. You able to you know, get to it from the ribbon. Notice that you do have a few. You cannot create any new custom um, styles um, at the moment. I'm not sure Microsoft plans if you're going to have that ability to do so. You can highlight the words and also get to your styles and it's also available to you under the format text. Another change you would notice is getting to your Outlook settings. Um, used to receive a quick pane. Now it's going directly to your settings and you can navigate to get there. Now, this is the same as if you will click on the view tab and go to view settings. Now, notice here that you have some of the features listed here that was in the quick pane before. One of the things that I did notice is how do you get to your themes? If you type in themes in the search um, bar, you can get to your themes and make some changes here. So if we would go to classic or modern, you can make your changes there. Same thing if you need to change 
dark uh, mode to light mode. Again, in the search bar, go ahead and type, you know, light or dark mode and it will navigate right where you need to be because now you don't have to remember, you know, um, the path to get to these features. Now, I have to share with you is, I clicked on this modern themes. It, I'm going to just read it to you. It says modern themes allow you to add background image for, um, to further customization. I clicked on it. You know, nothing happened for me. I did some research on it and couldn't find anything about it. So stay, you know, connected because once I learn what to do with this feature, I will share it with you. But I just didn't want you to waste time and think that, you know, you were going crazy and something was going wrong. It's just not working. The focus inbox was also impacted by the quick pain settings. And just type in the focus in the search bar. And you can make these changes here as well. Okay, y'all, if you're glad that I'm staying connected to New Outlook and its features, show your support by hitting the like button and subscribing to my channel for more Microsoft tricks, tips, and news. I also want to share with you in June, Microsoft retired the calendar board. It is not available in the calendar view anymore. If you were using it and forgotten to export your information, let me show you how to do that. If you go to calendar settings and let's search on board. Under general privacy and data, you have the ability to export, you know, your content um, that you had in the calendar board. This feature I do really miss. Let me know in the comments if you miss it too. I did get Microsoft some feedback and I'll add that in the description as well because I'm still hoping that they bring that, you know, feature back. So um, please vote on the calendar board. Now, based on my channel, you know, I get a lot of um, feedback from users and one of the, you know, common asks was, how do I get pop-ups only for, you know, people that's in my favorites? And I want to show you how to do that. So let's click on the view tab and let's go to our settings and search for notifications. You want to choose in-app notifications. So what do you want to do is you want to make sure you check messages from favorite people. So anytime that you drag a person in your favorites, that you will get a pop-up. So another missed feature was, you know, reply to all by I am, share to Teams or share to OneNote. Um, people are not sure where that is located. Let's open up this email here. And notice you have all these customized actions here. If you click on the more um, actions, and click on customize actions. Here you can go in and identify, you know, some of your favorite actions that, you know, you want to have at your fingertips. So when you open the email, you do have to open the email and be able to take action on any, on any of these. Notice you have that share to Teams, um, send to OneNote, and there are a lot of uh, others as well. So. Pick and choose the ones that you use the most and it will be available to you. I do continue to encourage you to give Microsoft feedback and share with them which version of Outlook that you are using. You know, make sure you specify new Outlook and let me show you how you can find what version you are using. And this is also helpful for your IT department as well. So click on view settings type version and this is going to, you know, this is the information that they need, what version and even the client version. Okay. So that's all I have. So, you know, continue to share your experiences in my YouTube channel because I do keep track of what's missing. So I know what information to share with you. Now go work your magic.